This is a lesson based on jobs and masculine and feminine and creating full sentences saying what jobs people do. We've been doing quite a lot of work at home on the, the titles of different jobs. So I hope this PowerPoint will help you with some of the tricky pronunciation elements. OK, we'll start with a little bit of repetition. So if you want to repeat after me, then you can model great pronunciation at home. Ely actor. OK, test yourself. Ely actor. Well done. Ely coiffeur. Your turn. Ely coiffeur. Ely cuisinier. Il est cuisinier. Il est entrepreneur. Il est entrepreneur. Il est fermier. Il est fermier. Il est graphiste. Il est graphiste. Il est infirmier. Il est infirmier. Il est informaticien. Il est informaticien. Il est ingénieur. Il est ingénieur. Il est maçon. Il est maçon. Il est mécanicien. Il est mécanicien. Il est médecin. Il est médecin. Il est menuisier. Il est menuisier. Il est vétérinaire. Il est vétérinaire. Il est au chômage. Il est au chômage. OK. What I would like you to do before we move on to the verb um, être, to be, a little bit of revision here that you can see on this current slide, um, I'd like you to go back over those repetition slides that I've just been through for you. And I'd like you to stop each one when the initial letters pop up on the screen. And I'd like you to test yourself by writing down each job as you go along. So the first one, you can have a look at the perfect sentence, il est acteur, which means he is an actor. And then make that perfect sentence with all the perfect spelling disappear. Bring up the initial letter of each sentence, which would be I, E, A and try and reproduce the perfect French sentence yourself, il est acteur. And then if you click again, the perfect French spelling will pop up and you can self-correct. And please do make your corrections. And remember, you will learn from your mistakes. So don't worry about any mistakes you make as you go along. Uh, look at the perfect one, try and re reproduce the French yourself. Look at the perfect one again and mark your errors and learn from your mistakes as you go along. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, in front of you, you have got the three of the main parts of the verb être to be, which we've met earlier on uh, in year seven. So I am, he is and she is. Um, just a little uh, mental test for you. Just, just take a moment, have a little think. Can you remember that I am is? Of course, je suis. He is, is il est. And she is, is elle est. We're going to be using these now uh, quite a bit for the rest of this lesson. Right, so what do you notice about the sentences that we have been looking at so far? So the first one was il est acteur, which means he is an actor. So anything you notice about all of those sentences? Firstly, they all started with il est. So at the moment, we've only looked at the masculine spelling of these jobs. So actor, uh, fermier, uh, there was lots of them. The other thing you might have noticed is this. So my dad is a farmer in French is mon père et fermier. My mum is a doctor in French is ma mère et médecin. 
Did you notice that in French you do not translate the word for a? In French, we don't have to put the un or the un when we're given a job title. Here's a couple more examples. Mon frère est facteur is my brother is a postman. Ma soeur est caissière is my sister is a cashier. We don't say mon frère est un facteur, which I'm wrongly writing in now. It's very tempting to add in the un or the un because we do say that. We do say the equivalent in English, but in French, this should not be there. So it's very different to what we're used to in English. OK. Right. Have a look at the slide. You might want to revisit the initial introduction slides, year seven, before we go through and have a, a little test of your memories. So in front of you on this slide, you've got all the jobs that I've just introduced you to or revised with you, hopefully, because you've already done quite a bit at home on this. Um, so you've got acteur, coiffeur, cuisinier. I'm not going to go through them all because you can revisit them in the PowerPoint. In a minute, I'm going to go through and one is going to disappear off the slide each time. I'd like you to pause the PowerPoint as we go along and... What I'd like to do is try and figure out which one's missing and step one, test your vocabulary, level one, which job's missing, chant out at home the missing one word. So ye or un masson or whatever's, whatever's disappeared. Step two, put it in a full sentence, please, using je suis for I am, il est for he is, and a bit more challenging at this early stage in the PowerPoint, L A for she is. Have a little think. Why would that be a bit more challenging at the moment? Exactly, year seven, because we've not looked at those feminine spellings and the differences in the feminine jobs yet. So you might want to give that a miss for now. Okay, let's get through. Qu'est-ce qu'il manque? Qu'est-ce qu'il manque means what's missing. So each time something pops off the screen, I'm hoping that at home. You're going to either just simply say the word or you're going to give a full sentence. For example, that one might have been il est informaticien, but he's back now. OK, qu'est-ce qu'il manque? And again, qu'est-ce qu'il manque? 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 Now there's two things that have gone missing. The actor has come back. Qu'est-ce qu'il manque? 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 OK, hopefully you did pause the PowerPoint as we went along and tested yourself on your memory and also your sentence formation. So now we're going to have a look actually in a bit of a revision um, on the feminine spellings and the feminine pronunciation of some of these jobs. So I'm sure you remember that uh, you're, normally we add an E. When colours become feminine, you add an E. Adjectives become feminine, we add an E. We've learnt this. Uh, from way earlier on in year seven. So a job that does work with the simple add an E rule is an assistant, which is an assistant, would become une assistante with an extra E on. However, there's loads and loads of exceptions in the topic of jobs and careers. And here they are. An actor doesn't just add an E, it changes completely. Two, Actrice. OK, here's a few more jobs that follow this pattern. If the masculine job ends in T-E-U-R, teur, it actually becomes trice. And here's a few more. Facteur, factrice, post, postman, postwoman. Directeur, directrice, a director or a head teacher. Instituteur, 
institutrice, a primary teacher normally, and actor, actrice. Another exception, coiffeur does not add an E. It becomes coiffeurs. So yeah, if your job title ends in EUR, like entrepreneur, it actually becomes an EUSE, -E, entrepreneurs. So EUR becomes EUSE, -E, ER becomes US. Let's have a look. Server, servers for waiting staff, vendeur, vendeurs for a salesperson, coiffeur, coiffeurs. We just saw on the photograph for a hairdresser. Another exception. Fermier. Have a look at the feminine. Fermier. Are you just thinking, oh, we just added an E? Or did you notice that actually we also had to add an accent here? It's an accent going to the left. So this, this is called your accent grave. Well done for those of you who remember that from your spelling bee work earlier in year seven. Uh, we, we do add an E. Yep. But we also have to add an accent. Here's another one. Cuisinier becomes cuisinier. And fermier becomes un fermier. So if your job ends in ER, it has to become E R E. And the E has to have the accent grave, the accent going to the left. Here's a few. Boulanger becomes boulangère for a baker. Boucher, boucher for a butcher. Fermier, fermière for a farmer. Infirmier, infirmière for a nurse. Caissier, caissière for a cashier. More exceptions. Informaticien for an, a, a computer technician does not just add an E, it becomes informaticien. Mécanicien becomes mécanicien. So if your job ends in I-E-N, it actually becomes I-E-double-N-E. -E. It's a little bit like purple, isn't it, with the colours. Violet became violet with a double T-E. Here's three examples of this one. Electricien. Électricienne for an electrician, mécanicien, mécanicienne for a mechanic, informaticien, informaticienne for an IT technician. OK, nearly there, I promise. Last few. Médecin for a doctor, maçon for a builder, menuisier was a joiner, a carpenter, agent de police, it's a police agent, police officer, and vétérinaire is a vet and au chômage completely different because it's not a job it's a phrase a two-word phrase meaning unemployed okay that last group there with médecin, maçon they didn't have any feminine equivalents because they just don't change year seven they stay exactly the same so that's why they were separate as well we don't add ease on we don't do anything OK, so on this final slide, if we were in our normal lessons, we'd play noughts and crosses or, you know, whatever game we could think of. Uh, can you test yourself on this final slide? I'd like you to start some of your sentences with je suis or maybe il est. I would definitely like you to practice the sentence start at l -E and practice those feminine endings. So, for example, with this one here. If you were going to say she is a hairdresser, you would say elle est coiffeuse, practicing those lovely feminine endings. Okay, très bien, bonne chance.